welcome to a video where I am going to try first to learn how to do screen capture video and also how I create my process of making decals and paint color and all of that. So this is my first time ever doing something like this, so please be patient with me. So this is where I would say is a good place to start if you're just trying to come up with a plan. So I am going to move my little dot, this is me moving it around here, to a color I want. And you can see in the background over here, oh dear, I touched the screen. You can see in the background here on the screen is my main color. And on this website, and most there's a app, I have a color wheel app on my phone too that I use more. Um, you have different options on how to choose a, a color to match it. It defaults to complementary, which means the opposite. I like the triangle, triadic, guess, triadic. And so that way I have three different colors that work well together. So let's say I want this purple as my paint color or as a flower color or something. What it's telling me is that these two colors work well with it, which is like a gold color and a green kind of color. So that can give me an idea of something I want in my decals, let's say. So the next place I would go is to um, find images for my decals. And I am using freepick.com and I do not have a membership. They do have a pricing where you can pay so much per month and everything, but I just use the free things. So let's say back here on my color wheel, um, let's say I'm using lavender paint and it has like, I don't even, I don't think it quite gives the color name, but it's gold and green and let's say I want flowers, you know, hypothetical. So I'm going to put gold flowers up here and hit search. And it's going to give me all kinds of images that have gold and green flowers in them. Now, on free pick, if it has the little crown, that means you have to pay for it. If it doesn't have the little crown, it means those are included as free. Um, in the filters, you can select to show only free. You know, you can do that. So let's say I like, let's say I like these. You know, that could be pretty in the middle of a, a machine and these could be pretty on the sides. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and come down here and hit download. And it says, are you sure you don't want to pay $11 a month? No, I just want the free download. And it's going to show up here that it has been downloaded. So now I want to use it, but this image has a background color of white. And I want to get rid of that because unless I am putting it on a white machine, it'll show up. So I go to this website that is called remove.bg. And when you go there, I'm on the page that says upload. Okay, so I'm going to hit upload image. Going to my downloads. Oops, where is my download? Hang on. Where are you, download? Let me go back over here to free pick and figure out where my download went to. Download, download, it's downloading, and it is, oh, it's a zip file. Okay, it downloads as a zip file, so I'm going to click to open my file, and I want to extract, okay, and I want to extract it all, and I'm going to send it to my downloads. All right, now we're in business here. Okay, so now going back to, closing all this, going back to my remove.bg website, I'm going to click upload image. And in my downloads is our image that I just selected off freepick.com. And it's going to load it on here and take off the background. 
Okay, so now I have my image here where the checkerboard part is. That means that that is disappeared. So it's like it's on a transparent background. I don't necessarily want these words here. You know, this would be a nice place to put the name of the machine or something. So I want to delete that. So I'm going to click Edit. Go over here to Erase and Restore. Now, this is the size of my paintbrush. I want it to be smaller because I don't want to erase too much. And so here's one issue I have with this website is that when you actually move your cursor onto where the image is, it disappears. So you have to kind of guess. So I'm going to move where I think my cursor is going to be over the little beautiful word. And then I can click on it and we'll see where I am. Okay, I'm close. So now I can just move my little cursor around until what I want to erase is red. It's going to think about it for a minute. And then it gives me the image without those words. So that's what I want. So I'm going to come down here and click download, download image. So that's going into my download file. Okay. Now I am going to go to canva.com. Okay, so if I am opening just the main canva.com website, and again, I do the free version. Yes, you can pay a membership. I do a free version. I'm going to be printing these on a A4, you know, eight and a half by 11 size paper. So I want to hit create design, A4 portrait document. Okay, and that gives me just this blank size paper. Now I want that image that we just deleted the background on. So I'm going to come over here to Uploads and hit Upload File. And I'm going to select from my Downloads. This is the one that says Remove BG, so I know that's my new one. Click that. And now it's going to appear here in my list. Okay, so I can click on that. And it's over here. So let's say now you need to know pixels to know exactly what size it is. It'll show you over here width 175, height 117. And um, you can kind of get an idea from the layout on the paper, or you can do a pixel inch conversion. Okay. So on this document, when I go to move it, I can see it's 175 wide. So if I go over to my conversion page, this is inch, this is millimeter. So if I put 175 millimeters, I know that that is 6.88, almost seven inches wide. Okay. And that's going to give you a pretty good idea of how big to size things. Now, let's say I want it even bigger. You just hit this little arrow and it'll rotate it. Then you can blow it up even more. All right. So then let's say I want to put the name of a sewing machine in there. I go over here to text um, and I'm going to say add heading. If you do heading, you have more options. OK, and I'm going to pick a font for this and I'm going to pick it. Uh, let's, that one looks pretty. We're going to call it that. And I'm going to call this Singer uh, 99 from uh, 1926. Okay. Now I'm going to move this up here, rotate it around because let's, we're pretending that I want this to be the opposite way. Okay. So, but that's too big. So then I can just size it down until it fits. And that looks pretty decent there. Let me make it bigger. So now here's the thing. If it's a black and white, I usually print that at home on my regular laser printer. Colors, I do not have the capacity to print this at home. But my library and most libraries have a really nice color laser printer, color copier they can use for that. So then what I do, because you can't really print from here, but you can hit share. All right. And I'm going to share by downloading it. 
and you click up here for file type of which format you want it in, okay? Um, I'm usually JPEG just because of old habits, and then I hit download. And there you go, it has been downloaded, okay? So now I can open this download file here, and there's my pretty little decal. Now it's not gonna do me much good here, so I need to save it onto my thumb drive that I can carry into the um, library with me. So I'm going to go down to my downloads again. And here it is. You know, you can kind of see that that's what it looks like. So then I would right, put my thumb drive into the computer, right click on it. Um, I hit cut or copy and move it over to wherever your thumb drive would appear over here and hit paste, okay? Um, and that, it's as easy as that. Now, there's different papers to use, um, and they're all available. I'm just going to throw up on my Amazon here. Do you do water slide decal paper, okay? And they have them that are specifically for laser and for inkjet. I, because inkjet, I have had experiences where inkjet bleeds, and because my uh, library has laser, which I'm more happy with, I, buy, I make sure that I buy them for laser, okay? And they have them with a clear background and a white background. So it says inkjet, inkjet, well, let's just water slide, decal, laser. Okay, this is the one that I use here, actually. It's laser, it's for clear, and it works great. If you are going to put a decal on a dark paint, it's going to disappear unless you have a white background. So, like if I was going to put a decal on a dark blue or a dark red, the the image would just disappear. I mean, you can try it, but it just disappears. So in that case, I want to make sure that I get a white one instead of a clear one. And they're in there somewhere. Here's white. That says inkjet, but trust me, they do have white for um, water slide decal for laser. There is one other type that is kind of a fun thing that I've used a little bit, and it is tattoo um, paper. And it is, again, a paper that you put into a laser printer. And the difference between a water slide decal and a tattoo is on the water slide decal, the sticky part is on the bottom of the image, and you slide the backing off from behind it. On a tattoo paper, the sticky part is on the front of the image and you lay it, after you get it wet, you put it face down onto your whatever, your machine or whatever you're gonna transfer it to, and then you peel the paper off the top. But you can stack things, and I'm gonna be playing with stacking a tattoo paper on a water slide decal and things like that. So that's a fun thing too. But usually um, I use the water slide decals. And I think that is about it. I know there's a lot of, of websites here, but it's honestly, it's free. You can pay for extra, extra memberships that get you extra things, but everything I have ever needed, I get in the free content. So, you know, that's up to you how far you want to go. And uh, I hope that was helpful. Let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.